Hi, and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name's Chris, and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another video. And in today's video, I'm going to highlight, uh, I think it's about five different altcoins I've been making purchases on today in the crypto um, sales that we've got on. Um, now, some will surprise you, um, but I am going to sort of talk through which ones I've been purchasing and why. Um, if you like this sort of content, mash that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. And um, don't forget to check out our Discord. Link is in the description of this video. It's free to join. Nick and myself do put all the information out there first um, on, on our Discord, so do check it out free to, to join, link in the description. And we also have a Patreon service. We would love to have you as a, a member. We do um, two AMAs, uh, Nick and myself, um, live, bit like Teams meetings where you can ask us anything. Um, we do a bit of trading and various other educational content um, that you can't find anywhere else. So do check it out. Link is in the description. Right, let's get down to, to the desktop and let's um, take a look at these uh, projects. Okay, so um, the first one will come as no surprise, right? Um, v chain, so an absolute bargain price. I think this one is going to do remarkably well in um, 2022, so this year. A huge sort of dip, um, not really performed very well, um, but I do think this is uh, going to change, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Um, Divide.io has it classed as a C1, so they utilize artificial intelligence and machine learning to rate each of the the, the um, crypto assets. Um, seven day change is uh, minus 0.78, so not huge, um, you know, change there. Um, C3 for your fear and greed index, it's fearful at the moment, obviously. Um, this is fear that I am purchasing up. Uh, I almost, um, yeah, I almost doubled my holdings for vchain uh, just to put that out there huge huge purchases yesterday and today um so ami had ratio is currently a d um your sharp ratio is a b uh two and then you've got your firm profitability is a one really really uh profitable and then your peak end value demand is c2 and your moving average is d pulling it down obviously none of this is financial advice this is just my opinion this video should be treated as educational purposes only uh, and you definitely need to be doing your own research before making any investment decisions but why am i um so confident on vchain mainly because they're going to be having their own stable coin um this is going to bring with it DeFi uh, opportunities on um vchain's blockchain again i think this is going to bring in um the the masses um and i've mentioned in previous videos that the poa 2.0 upgrade is is game changing for the v chain um you know really sets it apart from an awful lot of the other blockchains that are out there i expect big things from from v chain um and um it, it, it's one of those projects that you know i think you need to have patience but I think that patience is going to be rewarded. Um, just my opinion. Do let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on VeChain. Really interested to know. This is one that we've been talking about since half a cent. Um, hasn't performed as, as well as we thought it would um, so far. But, you know, that expectation is still there. Very, very strong uh, project in my opinion. And Nick is aligned to that as well. Moving on, Polkadot. Currently $26 um, a, a coin. Uh, down 13%. This is a project that, you know, ranked number 10, hasn't really performed well at all, in, in my opinion, compared to, you know, some of the other projects in the space. But I think um, it's still got that, um, that growth to have, uh, in my opinion. So one that I think is going to do really, really well, I think has been going under the radar. Um, yeah, so I've put some, some, Decent, uh, decent, substantial money into to Polkadot over the last couple of days. Um, so do check it out if it's a project that you haven't done any research on. I do think it's underrated. Um, it's currently rated C1 uh, on Evide.io overall. Seven day change is down 2.7%. Um, it's uh, Amihad ratio D, so that is pulling it down. Your fear and greed index is B1, so that's not so bad. Moving average is a, a D, so it's not brilliant. Um, sharp ratio is a D, 
and your firm profitability is A1. It's so profitable. But I do expect these to, to do a reversal. I am expecting all time highs for all of these projects in the coming months. Um, you know, Q1, um, you know, for, for me, uh, I just don't think the market is going to move as quick as people have been anticipating it's going to. Um, so really looking forward to, to seeing how everything plays out. But do let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on Polkadot. The real reason I'm getting into to, to Polkadot heavy now is just because I think there's some gains to, to be made on this one. I do expect some big, big gains on, on this one in comparison to some of the others. Moving on, Chainlink. Nick has, has highlighted this one um, and has been purchasing uh, Chainlink as well. Um, $24.25, down 5%. Again, one that really hasn't performed as we expected it to, but it's ingrained um, massively with um, lots of projects in the space, and we expect it to, to do really, really well. Um, it's currently rated B3. Uh, Seven-day changes up 22.97%. Um, the Amihad ratio is a D, the fear and greed index, it's very, very greedy at A1. Uh, you've got your sharp ratio B2, your moving average B2, so that's pretty good. Your firm profitability is B2, it's not as profitable as uh, a lot of the others that we talk about on this channel, but we think that's something that's going to change. And then your peak end value demand C2. So, uh, an interesting project. We expect big things from, from Chainlink. It hasn't delivered yet. And we do think that's something that's going to change. Uh, and that is why we've been making purchases of Chainlink. Moving on to the fourth, I think, uh, project, and that is Multivac. So this is um, a project that we've been talking about an awful long time. Everything was looking really, really positive. And then obviously, bam, we got hit with that announcement on New Year's Eve, late on New Year's Eve at that. Um, now, why am I making purchases of Multivac? Well, Nick and myself are still really bullish on Multivac. You know, everything's been lining up really, really well. It's very similar to, to what we've seen with, with Cardano, um, Polkadot, you know, the smart contracts and stuff are, are, are alive now. You know, you've got um, activity with uh, hackathons and all this sort of stuff, all the exciting stuff that's just about to happen. A lot of the risk um that you take on in these investments at like less than uh, a quarter of a cent you know is is kind of gone you know um but the announcement came as a bit of a shock we saw the the, the sell-off that was um you know going to happen so we took advantage of that um we sold off our entire multi vat bags um but we have purchased back in um yesterday so um obviously it's it's pulled back a little bit further since we we purchased we've kind of thought or felt like the we, we kind of reached that bottom yesterday um but you know happy to to be back involved in this project we've got the ama from from sean um you know which is in about 30 minutes from from when this is being recorded so this is before that um event takes place obviously we got the partnership news yesterday um so you know um it's going to be interesting to to see how this one uh, progresses um but you know this is one we put our names to early on and, and we expect big things moving on um so we've got uh if i rating it as c1 again we expect this to change seven day changes uh minus 27 and a half percent we did see that um that pullback massively uh, the fear and greed index is currently at a d sharp ratio is a d uh, so they're not brilliant uh, ami had ratio is b2 so that's pretty positive moving average is d and then your firm profitability is a1 which we like to see on this channel uh, very very profitable we think this will continue hence we've purchased back in um so do let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on multivac and obviously we've got the you know the questions you can ask uh, Sean there and obviously you know four billion staked um the the new partnership with relay so there's lots going on um so yeah looking positive today's video has been sponsored by cheeky crypto and specifically the harmony one staking pool if you are looking to support the channel and do not know how the best way you can go about doing this is actually to go ahead and delegate your one holdings into the cheeky one staking pool by doing so, not only are you supporting the channel, but you're also providing yourself with a nice passive income on your crypto holdings. You'll get some very juicy returns hovering around the 10% APY. And this is a fantastic way to make your crypto work hard for you the way that you worked hard for your crypto. 
Guys, if you are looking to support the channel, why not delegate today to the Cheeky One staking pool with the Harmony One protocol? Moving on to the fifth and final one, this may come as a, a bit of a surprise. This one is probably the most profitable project we highlighted. Um, we highlighted this one super early, way before lots of the other um, you know YouTubers in the space, and um, it's performed really, really well. Down a further you know ten and a half percent today at two dollars fifteen. Um, I have purchased a huge monstrous size bag of Polygon. Why have I done this? I think it's still going to perform really really well um the fees with ethereum are just beyond uh reasonable uh, and for that very reason i think matic uh, polygon is going to continue to 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 move strongly um so you know i think with the amount that's left in the tank i expect this one to to, to grow in price and um for that very reason it's uh it's you know we've increased our position in this one um okay so current rating on ify.io is probably the highest one it's b1 it is down a rating um seven day change 13.36 percent um amihad ratio is a2 the fear and greed index is b2 so these aren't too bad your shark ratio a2 your profitability is a1 it's super profitable uh, and your moving average is c2 so you know it looks pretty strong um but you know with all of these projects we could potentially see um, some volatility in the market over the coming days and weeks um, so you know just make sure that you're you're looking to get good entries if you are looking to to make any purchases of any of these particular projects that I've highlighted today I do think that these are super strong projects you know with a bright future and um, but do let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are I will say it again though this is not financial advice this is just my opinion make sure that you go do your own research and you make your own investment decisions don't make your investment decisions based on what I'm saying um, these are just my opinions everybody has opinions um, but these are mine um, if you enjoyed this video, mash that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tapping that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. And with that said, done and out of the way, take care and I'll catch you in the next one.